The Department of Environment and Natural Resources names three areas in danger of landslides as Tropical Storm Helen moves towards northern Luzon. Hazel Dizon filed this report. Most floods in low-lying areas have receded, but the threat of landslides remains as the country continues to deal with the rainy season. The ENR has identified three areas that may be at risk to landslides due to Tropical Storm Helen. In Babangay Bagong Nayon Antipolo, a 30-meter stretch of tension cracks have developed, affecting its slope and the road. Environment Secretary Ramon Pahe says this is caused by the oversaturation of water in the soil that happens during heavy rainfall. 70 houses below the slope are in danger of being destroyed should there be a landslide. Barangay Captain Maria Rosario Biagdan says they have already asked the residents to evacuate, but like in most places, the people refuse to do so. In Barangay Silangan in San Mateo Vizal, there is a threat of a bigger landslide in a private subdivision due to a fractured steep slopes and roads seen there. The slopes damaged the wall of a school building in a road accessed by some 6,000 residents. Mines and Geosciences Bureau Director Leo Hasavenu says they will recommend to its developer and the local government unit to mark the place as a danger zone. Under the law, a danger zone is defined as a no-man's land, banning temporary or permanent settlement in the area. These danger zones are identified in the MGB's geohazard maps distributed to LGUs. In Sitio Talanay, Batasan Hills, Quezon City, tension cracks are also visible. Landslide in the area could affect around 200 houses below. Paje says cracks in the area identified should be taken as an early warning for people to evacuate. Hasavenu says informal settlers still prefer to concentrate in landslide-prone areas despite being identified by MGB as danger zones. Implementation, however, lies on the local government, but this proved to be challenging as most families refuse to relocate due to the lack of livelihood in resettlement areas. Vizal Governor Casimiro Inaris says they have already prepared a forced evacuation plan for the residents along the identified danger zones. No, mahirap po biglain. Ang mga naninirahan po doon, uh, if you can imagine, napakahirap po mag, uh, mag pumilitin po ang mga tao na Lisanin ng kanilang mga tahanan dahil baha. No, napakahirap po uh, kumbinsin sila na pumunta sila sa evacuation centers. Much more, napakahirap kumbinsin kung ang hinihingi mo sa kanila ay lisanin na ang kanilang tahanan for good. Hindi na sila pwede bumalik dahil delikado nga po, danger zone po yung kanilang mga tinigrad. So unti-unti, kailangan po natin ipaliwanag talaga everyday. Inara says they have also offered a relocation site in Pinugay, Vizal. However, residents say it's too far from where they have already established their livelihoods. Hazel Dizon, Solar News.